let's do a simple business card design today with the help of XML and cascading style sheet this style sheet has already been connected to this XML file with the processing information here I'll make this company names so that I can take multiple company name inside this root tag remember in any XML file we should have only one root tag inside this root tag company name I'll take company names I'll take another tag called company name inside that a name tag to specify my name phone tag which has a type called home the type it is called attribute the attribute of work that is to specify another phone number one usually we have at least two phone numbers for employees that work number and home number one more attribute one more element email okay we forgot the main thing that is company we'll take another element called company I'll specify the company name Technotip IT Solutions now let's see how it looks on our browser okay it is all displayed in a single line same on Chrome too we need to specify some more styling information here mm. observe the element name here company name and company names are two different things company names means the root tag company name is the one which is inside company names so please don't confuse with it to make it clear inside company names we have multiple company name that is I'll copy and make it make business card for another person that may make it more clear inside company names we have two other elements company name company name so we have only one root tag that is company names so I'll change the information present inside second business card here let us consider this this person works in Microsoft so save this and see okay these two business cards appear in line so, to make it appear below each other we need to add display block displays into block in CSS this line now in order to separate each element that is name phone email company we need to specify css for each of them that is display is equal to block for each element that is name phone email and the company okay i'll quickly do it for all of these for all these codes and other previous simple videos and tutorials please visit technotip.com below this video you find a link which has notes and this code and this video and other videos and notes so please visit the link below this video also search for CSS and other stuffs on technotip.com okay now it appears as block elements let us add some more styling information to, mo 
to make it look prettier. I'll add it to company name. We need not touch this one, in fact. I'll just add static information for this tag itself, company name. I'll add padding information of 10 pixels and some internal margin of maybe 20 pixels. Mm. Now it started looking more clear. Let me give it a background color to make it appear to make it appear standing out from the background line let's see how it looks oh too much bright stuff i don't like brighter stuff right now i'll make it ivory oops i v o r y it's right let's see the let's try again i v O R Y. I don't know why it's not showing. Let it be. Ivory is a color. I know it. And let's give a width of 300 pixels. We don't want that background image to stretch all the way till the end. Okay, ivory looks cool. Light, yellowish background. Cream actually. Now I want to highlight my name. Sorry, the names of the person present inside the business card to be precise. I'll make it font weight is bold. Okay, if you erase this, it won't auto show the properties. Font weight bold. Now names appear bolder. So there is one problem here. We have multiple e multiple phone numbers and we don't know which one is the primary email prim primary number to be contacted. And we have company name here. People may not know I have a company by name Technotip IT Solutions. So I need to label them all like phone number which is my primary phone number which is work which is home pri home number and what is my company name i need to label them all it is not possible with this plain css we need to use something called css level 2 which usually do not work in internet explorer but still we'll see and see a demo at least on firefox or chrome like that for now just see those attributes didn't make any difference here but in the next video let's see how to use css level 2 Thanks for watching. Please like it on YouTube and watch for the next video. Please visit the link below this video that is technotip.com. Please like it on YouTube. Thanks for watching.